Greetings, fellow noobs. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to another new cast. This is Blamus. This is a 1v1. This is Shattered Temple. This is Saiba. Siba? Saiba? I like Saiba. And this is Marco. Marco. Why are you always playing different races, man? Why you play the random? Yes, that's right. Marco plays random. Marco, last time we saw him, was, I believe, also Protoss. Several games prior to that, he was Zerg. I thought he'd actually switch to Zerg, but he recently informed me that he plays random. Which is pretty freaking baller. However, if by playing... What? <laughs> this is my mouth, and this is a tongue, and these are my teeth. And when I put them together, sometimes I can actually speak. But apparently not right now. What I was going to say... What was I going to say? Yes, Marco plays random, and if... See, I already forgot what I was going to say. No, what I was going to say was... What I've never seen... Marco has never submitted a replay of Marco playing Terran. Which makes me believe... Well, I have to assume... Assume! I have to make an ass out of you and me... That Marco... Might not be all that good at Terran. And maybe he's... Maybe he's, uh, one of those, um, oh, what are, sub, sub randoms that you can only play one or two races as random. And so when you play your off race, like Terran or something, then you just all in <laughs> every matchup. I call that, uh, a sub random you can almost play random, but not quite. But I'm curious as to what a random player does when he hits Pro toss and he hits another pro toss. Pretty standard builds out of the gate. Um, both guys getting their cores and gates. Second gate down for Marco. Second gas for Saiba. And a second gas for Marco. So both players getting a second gas, which means we're probably not going to see a standard four gate. I mean, we could always see a non-standard four gate. Looks like Sive is going to try and creep back in the corner. Maybe plant a pylon or something. Keep Marco guessing. He's not going to chase him back there, so presumably he does not realize. Nope, he does realize. Because he's got, you see the uh, rally point from his gateway. Yeah, that's what that's called, a gateway. Going back here, Stalker's going to come out, going to find that probe, going to kill it. Piling out here. Catch that. Yeah. And down he goes. Dead probe. He no help you. And Saiba's first Stalker is out. So we each have a Stalker. Uh, the only difference being that Marco has killed the probe. <laughs> and Saiba has not. Everything else is pretty even. Actually, Saiba is up on probes because Marco is going to push here with three stalkers. Pretty good timing, it looks like. Five and a half minutes. Going to be out. It's going to be out before. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to pull off the probes. Kill one of those bad boys. Get out! Oh, the probes are going to surround on the stalkers, and they're actually going to win. And he's not even going to lose that many probes. How many probes did he lose? Wow, not many at all. One probe in that attack. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. It just means that, you know, stalkers, they don't do very good against light units, and we know that already. We can check out this stalker and show that he has... 14 against armor, but only 10 against light, so it takes 4 shots to kill a probe. And when you have several probes surrounding you, you don't always hit the same probe over and over again. And now Saiba, couple zealots, stalker and a sentry, working off two gates, getting a stargate in the back. I like this. 
I like Cyber's play. This is not your run of the mill PvP. We have three gate Robo versus a two gate Stargate. And he is pumping out Void Rays. Now he's got six Stalkers coming in. Which he's got a force field, so he can keep them out if he so chooses. I'll better get that going on. Where's the Void Ray, though? That was pretty bad mouse work for me, my apologies. He's going to walk away from that. It's interesting. Not going to push. And now the Void Ray will come out. And, okay, going to get his Observer out. I like that. I'm going to follow that up with an Immortal. Not a bad play. Now, Saiba going uh, Zealot heavy here. Going to add a third gate and a second Void Ray. So if I, if, if Marco attacks when the Immortal comes out, let's say that's what happens, we will have, presumably, by the time they get here, two Void Rays, several Zealots, two Sentries. I think Saiba's got the better force here, because the Zealots, oh no, he's got a few, he's a few of his own Zealots, so they can presumably take out or at least cancel the uh, the other zealots. So now he's got vision. It's the vision of the high ground. Staying away from... This is very good by Marco. Having vision and then using the observer to snipe the ranged units while the zealot... while the zealots just kind of um, have to go around the long way. And now... Marco is in a pretty commanding lead. Uh, I don't know if he knows about the Void Rays, if he's seen them or not. Um, probably a good time to get them involved. Not Oh, now he knows. Now he knows about them. I'm going to see some... Void, Ra Void Ray Zealot is going to be very good against this combination. Because the Immortal is not going to do that great with those zealots. Saiba thinking that he has the advantage here, but these uh, additional stalkers are going to finish it for him. If he can get them underneath those void rays, but there is no... There's not going to be any... Oh, if he gets force field down... Oh, that's going to be bad. That could be bad! Oh, no! The good thing for Marco is that killing stalkers, Void Rays can't get charged up. I feel like I'm a little loud here. Oh, Marco, please pull back. Please pull back. Yo. Oh, got a Phoenix out lifting up the Immortal. There you go. I'm gonna kill some pylons. Good. Nope, not gonna break them yet, though. And now. Another more probes coming out. Kill that pylon! Kill that pylon! Third point right back on the scene. Marco trying to pull out, but again the probes getting surrounded on the stalkers. And they are kiting these zealots. And Marco does have to pull away, and Saiba does end up hanging in there. Pretty good, pretty good. What's gonna happen now? Is Saiba gonna counter? He's going to go out to the middle of the map. That's kind of weird. More Stalkers in for Marco. He's definitely got a food advantage here. I don't get this. Why is Saiba going, taking his Void Rays? Does he not know where Marco is? He must know. And now he's going to come back. Oh, nice force field. Nice force field. I'm going to give the time, Void Rays time to get back. Is he making more? Nope, no more Voidrays coming in. More Stalkers coming in. Here come the Voids. These Force Fields have to be done now. Yep, I don't think there's any more. It's not going to be enough energy for the any more Force Fields. Stalkers got to focus those Void Rays, and that's what they're doing. Down go the Voids. Saiba gives them the well played. 
And that is going to be the end. Sentries will die. Sort of tired of normal strategies, trying new things. Hey, I think it was pretty good. I like that. Zealot, Void Ray, pretty good. Except you just have to watch what your opponent's doing. If your opponent is going a bunch of stalkers, Void Ray, maybe not the best plan. Got to scout, 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 and react and change things up. You know, ditch that Stargate, drop, um, you know, freaking Templar Archives and go for some one base Archons or something. Yeah. Just try and have some fun with it. That's a lot of gas, but whatever. You know what I'm saying. Keep climbing that ladder, y'all. Peace.